Ural Mining and Metallurgical Company UMMC or UGMK Russian, Okrito Akshinino Obsestvo Uralska Gorno Metallurgiska Kompanya is a Russian metallurgical company based in Verknaya Pashma. It is the second largest copper producer in Russia. The holding company was formed around joint stock company Ural Electromed in 1999. The main owner of the company is Uzbek billionaire Iskander Mahmudov. The president of the company is Andrew Kozitsyn, Russian. Kozikin Andrei Anatolovich. The company owns about 50 companies located throughout Russia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Community relations. UMMC has helped the city of Yekaterinburg. For example, at the end of 2013, UMMC worked on a deal to help secure the city's debt liabilities with the bank Gazprombank. UMMC, along with other companies, will contribute a total of 2 billion rubles, equivalent to around US $67 million, to charitable social programs. Other companies giving funds along with UMMC include JSFC Systema, Sibur, Rushidro, and Interrail UES. Topic. Education Russia's Office of Early Childhood Education tasked UMMC Telecom in 2013 with connecting all kindergartens to the Internet. Specifically, UMMC Telecom will connect kindergartens in Paishma, an area near Yekaterinburg. In September 2013, UMMC donated $250,000 to kindergartens in the Krasnorask area. The donations were intended to help buy food and maintenance. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare. For example, UMMC created the Children of Russia project. UMMC launched a pilot for the program in the Sverdlovsk Oblast. The program serves kids who have serious and numerous health disorders. Topic. Job training UMMC partnered with the Moscow State Institute of International Relations in 2013 to educate and train people in international transportation, in the hope that the training will satisfy UMMC's employment needs while offering new jobs to local people. UMMC runs a college and training institution known as the Technical University of UMMC. The facility is located next to the company's headquarters. Orphans In support of vulnerable populations such as children and in addition to health services described above, UMMC sponsors special programs for youth that include sports tournaments, development of gifted children initiatives, funding for orphanages in the Urals and Siberia, and the Heart to Heart program which collects clothing, books and funds for children in orphanages and residential treatment centers. The company created social rehabilitation programs for orphans and children without parents. UMMC has given money to orphanages, given classroom courses to orphans and provided medical treatment to orphans. Veterans <inaudible> 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 UMMC also supports veterans, specifically, supplementing limited government assistance for retirees. Owner Iskander Mahmudov has led programs for material assistance for housing and health care expenses, travel expenses to health facilities, and special pensions for war veterans. For non-veteran retirees, UMMC provides private pension funds to retired employees and supplemental pensions for employees who were especially valuable to the company during their careers. In 2013, the Red Apple Moscow International Advertising Festival recognized UMMC for the company's work in children's health. UMMC runs a children's clinic, which is one component of the company's children's health program. UMMC created a video that promoted the clinic, and the video was awarded the bronze medal. At the festival, the company donated equipment to help people affected by flooding in the Far East region of Russia in 2013. 
The total donation exceeded $900,000. Topic: Women's basketball. UMMC is the sponsor of Russian women's basketball team UMMC Ekaterinburg. The team won the European title in 2003. According to Croatian news source HT Croatian Telecom, this year the team is the strongest women's team in the history of European basketball. Company Topic financials Net profit of the company for 2011 was 8.9 billion rubles, which was up from 3.2 billion rubles in 2010. According to Russia and CIS Business and Financial Daily, the company might budget approximately 60 billion rubles in 2013 for investments. The company's general director, Andrei Kozitsyn, said, We're signing contracts for next year, and have started budgeting. The average copper prices will be around $8,000 a ton in 2012. We're hoping it stays at that level next year. We're also planning the same investment program as this year 60 billion rubles. UMMC plans to increase coal output to 50,600,000 tons by the year 2016. The company also plans to invest 63 billion rubles in raw materials. In September 2012, copper smelting company OJSC Ural Electromed, an enterprise owned by UMMC, approved $2.05 billion worth of guarantees for loans for UMMC Holdings, which manages UMMC's assets. Topic: People. Andrei Kozitsyn is the CEO of UMMC. Kozitsyn sits on the board at Ural Federal University. He is the recipient of the Big Golden Order of Merit of the Austrian Republic, the highest award given by the Austrian government, according to Yekaterinburg News. Topic: <laughs> Products. UMMC produces approximately 40% of Russia's output for cathode copper and zinc. Additionally, it produces approximately 50% of Russia's output for lead, 25% of non-ferrous rolled products domestic market, over 50% copper powder European market. Topic: Facilities. Bashka Med. Bashka Med is a subsidiary of UMMC. UMMC created Baskir Med in 2006. According to news reports, it appears that UMMC uses Bashka Med to hold licenses for its mining operations. Bashkortostan Mine. UMMC will invest over $300 million into the construction of a zinc and copper mine. The mine is located in Bashkortostan, Russia. Bashka Med owns the license for the mine. Gaisky Gok Plant – UMMC will invest over $400 million into its Gaisky Gok Plant. The investment will go toward reconstruction and development. Gaisky Gok is an ore mining and processing plant. Krasnobrodskaya Koksoveya. In 2011, News reported that UMMC had commissioned a new coal processing factory. The factory is known as Krasnobrodskaya Koksoveya. UMMC invested 3.3 billion rubles into the project. According to the article, the factory will process 3 million tons of coal each year. Lufir, in 2013, UMMC's Lufir Auto Aggregate Plant won a regional contest related to high social efficiency, meaning that the company developed social partnerships and developed human potential. Mednogorsky Copper and Sulfur Plant, the plant, owned by UMMC, competed against Norilsk Nickel and won exploration and mining rights in 2012. The rights extend to the Yelanskoy and Yelkinskoy mineralizations in Voronezh region. SHAAZ, UMMC implemented a new, "...quality policy", at the SHAAZ facility, which is located in the Kurgan region. 
The policy meets ISO TS16949 standards. Chumman Steel Mill, in July 2012, Metal Mining Wire reported that UMMC had planned to build and run a new steel mill in the Chumman region of Russia. The mill would cost $675 million. According to the article, UMMC expects the new mill to produce 540,000 metric tons of steel per year. Environment. In 2013, UMMC reported that it had invested 254 million rubles in environmental protection activities in the previous year. Specific areas of investment included sewage treatment, gas facilities, and air pollution. Widely using administrative resource, UMMC is working for mining nickel ores in Voronezh Oblast, the Kopyor River region, near the famous Kopyor Nature Preserve, populated with protected beavers, wisents, and Russian desmond. It does not take into account nor the numerous mass protests residents of the surrounding communities that are dispersed by the police, nor the numerous concerns of scientists and environmental that these works simply destroy the ecological system of the river Kopyor. A number of biologists drew attention to the fact that if the work on the extraction of nickel is starting, the ecological situation in the endemic area of residents may deteriorate so much that disappeared last Desmonds. Thus, in addition to mining nickel ores fields, UMMC is planning to build a processing plant next door to Kopyor Nature Preserve. According to participants of the protests against the start of mining nickel ores by Ural Mining and Metallurgical Company, the authorities are using intimidation against them, fines, and the creation of an information vacuum. May 11, 2013, environmentalists organized a protest camp near Geologist, but on May 13, the protesters were beaten up by the private security company, Patrol, leader of the Kozak cultural community, Igor Zhitanev, received a severe concussion. In addition to this, his jaw and ribs were broken. May 23, 2013 demonstration in defense of the Kopyor River in Voronezh, time to coincide with President Vladimir Putin's visit to the region was broken up by police. Target for environmental protest extortion In December 2013, Russian police detained two people for alleged extortion against UMMC. The two people, according to the Moscow Times, were formally linked to an environmental protest movement. The men were accused of trying to extort money from UMMC in exchange for ending environmental protests against the company. Topic. Subsidiaries UMMC owns 24 companies that do mining and processing. UMMC has 138 licenses to mine and explore subsurface mineral resources. Subsidiaries of UMMC include Ural Electromed, Mednogorsk Copper Sulfur Combine, Sviatogor, the Srednyurisk Copper Smelter, Gaysky, and Ukolinsky GOKs. Topic aircraft According to SKRIN Market and Corporate News, the company plans to develop a new regional jet by 2015. The aircraft will be manufactured in a Czech Republic-based plant. All tests are planned to be completed in 2013. Topic. Chelyabinsk zinc plant UMMC, CJSC Ruskaya Mednia Kompanija RMK, and other investors own Chelyabinsk Zinc Plant CZP. CZP is the biggest Russian producer of high-grade zinc and zinc alloys. Kuzbasrazrazugal <laughs> <laughs> In February 2013, Interfax reported that Ural Mining and Metallurgical Company UMMC has made a buyback offer to the minority shareholders in UK Kuzbasrazrazugal OAO Kuzbasrazrazugal Coal Company, which is controlled by LLC UMMC Holding. UMMC became the owner of 51.018% of Kuzbasrazrazugal Coal Company's ordinary shares on December 29, 2012. 
According to Kuzbasraz Razugal Coal Company's list of affiliated entities as of last August 14, UMMC previously owned 25.633% of its charter capital. Uralelectromed Uralelectromed provides heat to all departments and divisions of the industrial site, and to part of the sporting and social facilities in Verknaya Paishma, and it also supplies heat to certain residential areas. In August 2013, the company announced that it has begun production of a new copper electrolysis product at Uralelectromed. The company also begun a sinking process at its Jubilee field in Bashkortostan, part of a 3.5-year program to install utilities and power stations at the future site of Jubilee's administrative complex. When complete, Jubilee is expected to yield 2,625 tons of copper per year. In total, the UMMC plans to invest more than $42 million in Jubilee. <laughs> 